Radioactive materials. They play an important role in medical, research, and commercial facilities. They are found in equipment that saves lives and builds economies worldwide. But in the wrong hands, high-activity radioactive materials such as cesium-137 or cobalt-60 can be used to create radiological dispersal devices or dirty bombs and in other acts of terrorism. The Office of Radiological Security works to stop this from happening. Part of the Department of Energy's National Nuclear Security Administration, the Office of Radiological Security, or ORS, works with government, law enforcement, and businesses around the world to provide world-class security technologies, training, source recovery, and alternative technology replacement initiatives to users of high-activity radioactive materials. These sources, such as cesium-137 and cobalt-60, are used to treat cancer, irradiate blood, sterilize equipment, and can be found in use in life-saving medical and research facilities in communities worldwide. One strategy ORS uses to enhance global radiological security is to reduce the global reliance on high-activity radioactive sources by promoting the adoption and the development of non-radioisotopic alternative technologies. Replacing high-risk devices that use radioactive sources such as cesium-137 with alternative technology devices such as X-ray can reduce or eliminate the cost of securing high-activity radiological devices and associated risks. Today, new alternative devices perform as good as, or better than, high-activity radiological devices. ORS's Cesium Irradiator Replacement Project offers incentives to businesses interested in replacing blood and research irradiators containing high-activity cesium-137 with newer X-ray devices. ORS also provides incentives on a case-by-case -case basis to replace Cobalt-60 devices. ORS works with qualified U.S. facilities who are interested in converting to alternative technologies for blood irradiation, research irradiation, and radiotherapy. Blood irradiation is a safety measure that we have to do to blood products to protect certain patients from a very dangerous side effect of transfusion. Before I came to Children's National, I was based at another pediatric hospital and there we also had transitioned from having cesium irradiated products to x-ray irradiated products. Using the same calculus about risk to the organization and also the requirements around having a cesium irradiator, we felt that the best decision was to use x-ray irradiation um, in the blood bank to protect our patients from um, adverse effects of transfusion. Atlantic Health System Morristown Medical Center, which is one of its campuses, basically is a trauma center. And so it's very important that it runs 24-7. It's important that blood is available 24-7. So the throughput is very important. So especially for the NICU areas and the outpatient uh, emergency department, uh, that's very important. So um, they could irradiate with the x-ray radiator uh, about six products or units uh, at a time. But with the cesium irradiator, it was only one to two products or units. So it's really a big difference. So one of the other uh, residual benefits of working with ORS and replacing the technology is this. Um, when you have the cesium source, you are required to meet certain federal regulations. Those regulations are both cumbersome and expensive to do. Viable alternatives to cesium irradiators are now available and have been proven to be comparable or even more effective for research in some cases. The opportunity came to test a, uh, an x-ray irradiator and there are two reasons why I think we were interested in it. One is that it's a little bit easier to use. Um, we can do it ourselves. Uh, it, we don't need someone necessarily to set the machine up for us because the security is a little bit easier. The other thing that's important to understand is with a cesium irradiator, the irradiation source decays over time. So that if I use it today and I use it next month, I have to change the settings on the machine and that put, puts another variable into our experimental design. So if you don't have to do that, if it can always be the same and standardized, it's a little bit easier for us to get reliable data. When the opportunity from ORS came up, to exchange our cesium sources for uh, newer x-ray sources, uh, we looked at the trade-offs and felt like uh, really we were losing almost nothing uh, and gaining an awful lot in terms of flexibility, uh, the cost of the equipment, maintenance, 
uh, security, regulatory uh, compliance issues. The most common non-radioisotopic alternative to a Cobalt-60 device is a linear accelerator used for radiotherapy. As a clinician who treats cancer patients, uh, making the move from the Cobalt to a linear accelerator was a huge step forward. Uh, it has improved our ability to deliver the radiation. Uh, the dose that we delivered is uh, more tightly conforms to the area we want it to go. Uh, because of the physical differences between x-rays generated by a linear accelerator and x-rays uh, generated by a, a cobalt source, uh, we feel that the treatment we can deliver to our patients today is improved over what it was uh, just a year ago. ORS enabled us to have the resources necessary to make this change. So we're thrilled to have the, the, the reduction in cost and concern regarding the security, the improved quality of our delivery system with greater uptime so it's more available for patient care. Making the transition from the Cobalt 60 system to the linear accelerator has enabled us to treat patients that in the past we could not treat. As a national leader in radiological security, New York was the first U.S. city to launch a citywide cesium replacement campaign with its medical facilities and universities. So it's been almost eight to 10 years of work, but as of now, we are one of the largest healthcare institution in Northeast of the United States, and maybe the largest, and we are the only one that has no radioactive radiator. We have disposed all of them and we use only x-ray radiator. ORS presented us with the opportunity to take the lead. They visited with us, expressed their concern. We took a look at the risk of terrorism as it relates to New York City and every healthcare facility in this country. And we're very quick to take advantage of the opportunity. To find out more about how you can do your part to secure your business, your community, and your country, Contact the Office of Radiological Security or visit our website.